This is the peppermint stick insect, and it might sound like a weird name for an insect, but trust me, it gets even weirder. Stick insects are a group of insects that eat leaves, and they're normally camouflaged as the plant they eat. Most don't have much in the way of self-defense. They might use flashy wing collars or sharp leg spines in the case a predator sees through their disguise, but the peppermint stick insect takes self-defense one step further. This stick insect is armed with chemical weapons. Just behind the head are a pair of glands. When the stick insect feels threatened, it shoots an irritating spray out of these glands that smells exactly like peppermint. It can spray this chemical forwards or backwards, and it might be minty fresh, but it's absolutely horrible to get in your eyes. Predators agree with me. But it's not enough to just spray your enemies with perfume. You've got to escape. And these stick insects live in the perfect fortress the spiny leaves of pandanus. So to get to safety, they tuck their legs in beside their bodies and slide down the leaves to the inner part of the plant. Effective and fun. Even though pandanus leaves are so spiny, peppermint stick insects have no problem eating them. In fact, once you get a small family of stick insects living in there, they can do quite a bit of damage to the plant. During the day, they hide deep inside the protective pandanus. And at night, they move out onto the leaf and chew right into the middle, leaving huge chunks of the leaf missing. They're really messy eaters. Their pretty teal color does help them camouflage, but younger insects have bright red antennae and black joints that make them look toxic. And once they're adults, they do grow wings, but they can't fly. Many stick insects have vestigial wings, which are a leftover from an ancestor that could fly. Males have longer wings, which they can sort of use to fall more slowly. Quite incredibly, many populations of peppermint stick insect exist entirely without males. This is called parthenogenesis. In stick insects, females are able to mate and produce both male and female offspring, but if there's no males around, they'll lay eggs anyway, and the eggs will hatch into little female clones of the mother, which is pretty incredible. Their eggs look like little seeds, and you wouldn't even guess there's a baby stick insect inside. Because these stick insects are only known from a few patchy populations, they're considered a vulnerable species. It's so important that we protect what's left of our wild places because you never know who's hiding in the bushes.